Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to run an employee summary payroll report. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and this is a little known report within QuickBooks. It's not a standard uh, employee summary report or a payroll report, uh, but gives you some pretty detailed information in Excel. And so I want to show you how to run this because it can give you some great information about your employees and, and payrolls, etc. Okay, so here we are on the home screen of uh, QuickBooks desktop, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna go to the Employee Center, all right? So if I go to Employee Center, and you'll see here we've got uh, the three tabs, Employees, Transactions, and Payroll. Okay, if you go to the Payroll tab right here, and you should have, and this is if you run payroll in QuickBooks, all right? If you don't run payroll in QuickBooks, you're not gonna have this information, all right? So if we look up here, we've got pay employees, pay liabilities, file forms, the create paychecks, recent payrolls. <clears throat> look down here at the bottom. This is often an overlooked area uh, of the, the employee center. And you'll see this option here that says summarize payroll data. Okay, if you click payroll summary, that's gonna be a, a standard payroll summary report in QuickBooks. If you go to the report center, that's gonna take you to the report center. But if we go to summarize payroll data, okay, it's going to uh, pull up a, let's see, QuickBooks payroll workbook. We've got the new release stuff. Okay, it's gonna bring up this screen here that shows you the options. Okay, what date range do you wanna use? All right, and you have some options and settings. Okay, so you can convert uh, employee names to uppercase, uh, update worksheet, column widths, enable drill downs in pivot tables. Okay, uh, merge, customize, hide detailed data returned from QuickBooks. Okay, so th it's, it's really some technical options here uh, that you can uh, set up here. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna cancel that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to set your date range. You know, it could be last month, last year, this month, this year, or you can do a custom date range. Uh, optional reports, you can include these or not include these. Okay. Now, when you click Get QuickBooks Data, it's going to extract the information from QuickBooks into this report. Now, I've already run this report because it's an Excel report and it doesn't take that long. It takes like 20, 30 seconds, uh, but uh, I've already run it. So I'm going to bring that onto the screen. So I'm going to cancel this. All right. So let me bring over the report and I want to show you why this is important. Okay. So you'll see here this Excel file. This is what it spits out uh, from QuickBooks. And you'll see down at the bottom, you've got a lot of information. Okay, you've got year-to-date summary, you've got uh, a year-to-date summary too, uh, just a little bit different way of looking at it. So you can see, you know, per employee, all the different information. Uh, you've got the hours that they have worked for this time period. All right. And I want to show you a couple of options on the spreadsheet in a minute. Rates and hours by job. Okay, state wage listing, deferred comp, uh, quarterly. 8846, which is an IRS form, okay, for the Social Security Medicare credit worksheet, and then a calculated percent, which is going to tell you a percent of um, their total pay, okay? So let's go back to the employee journal, and you'll see here you've got a couple of these pivot tables, okay? So, for example, up here, name type, all right? If I click on here, I can change it from employee to vendor. If I click OK... Okay, now you're going to see uh, during this time period uh, a breakout of the vendors and the payments. Okay, and you know check numbers. Uh, looks like that's what these are. Check numbers here, uh, the dates, the amounts, what they uh, represented: federal Social Security, Medicare, state tax, uh, state unemployment insurance. Okay, and then health insurance over here. Okay. Uh, so you can also paid by company. So right now it's sorted to pay by employee. So you can do it pay by company and this will show that you the company expense. Okay. So in payroll, you've got the amounts withheld from the employee's pay, and then you've got the amounts paid by the company. Okay. So again, you can sort all this and 
uh, pull a lot of information from QuickBooks without necessarily running some report okay, within QuickBooks. And if you look over here on the right for the pivot table fields, okay, you can add certain fields to the report. Uh, you can drag fields between areas, rows, values, etc. All right, so you've got a lot of different options here that you can play around with these reports. Okay, year-to-date summary. All right, this is just going to be a simple year-to-date summary. Uh, same with the year-to-date summary too. So if we look at, let's say, if I look at hours, okay, item, tax type, compensation, okay? So again, you can choose any one of these. So I'll just say federal withholding, okay? Well, there's really no hours for federal withholding. So we're going to put that back on compensation, okay? And you're going to see the number of hours worked, okay? All right, so again, rates and hours by job, uh, customer job type, you can say all. Right now, uh, let's say that we wanna pick, you know, those three, okay? Then it's gonna show by three, by job, okay? Item type compensation, again, you've got all sorts of options you can play around with this information. All right, so this can, this can be, be uh, very uh, good to run this report when you're trying to get certain data uh, about your payroll. And again, this is if you run payroll through QuickBooks. And uh, this can be a tremendous report to pull up. So I wanted to show you that uh, so that you uh, can use QuickBooks to its fullest extent. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Happy to answer those. And also head over to the QuickBooks University, got the full training over there and show you everything you need to know about how to use QuickBooks. The website is qbuniversity.org.